Chapter 47 Muhammad In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful Those who disbelieve and hinder men from the path of Allah, He will render their deeds vain. But those who believe and do righteous good deeds, and believe in that which is sent down to Muhammad, for it is the truth from their Lord, He will expiate their sins from them, and will make good their state. This is because those who disbelieve follow falsehood, while those who believe follow the truth from their Lord. Thus does Allah set forth parables for mankind. So when you meet those who disbelieve in war, strike at their necks till you have killed and wounded many of them. Then bind a bond firmly on them, and take them as captives. Thereafter, it is the time either for generosity or ransom, until the war lays down its burden. If it had been Allah's will, He Himself could certainly have punished them without you. But He lets you fight, in order to test you by one another. But those who are killed in the way of Allah, He will never let their deeds be lost. He will guide them and set right their state, and admit them to paradise which He has made known to them. O you who believe, if you help in the cause of Allah, He will help you and make your foothold firm. But those who disbelieve, for them is destruction, and Allah will make their deeds vain. This is because they hate that which Allah has sent, so He has made their deeds fruitless. Have they not traveled through the earth, and seen what was the end of those before them? Allah destroyed them completely, and a similar fate awaits the disbelievers. This is because Allah is the Lord of those who believe, and the disbelievers have no Lord. Certainly, Allah will admit those who believe and do righteous good deeds to gardens under which rivers flow in paradise while those who disbelieve enjoy themselves and eat as cattle do. The fire will be their abode. We have destroyed many a town, which was stronger than your town, O Muhammad, which has driven you out, and there was none to help them. Is he who is on a clear proof from his Lord, like those for whom their evil deeds are made attractive for them, while they follow their own lusts and evil desires? The description of paradise, which the pious have been promised, is that in it are rivers of water, the taste and smell of which are not changed, rivers of milk, of which the taste never changes, rivers of wine delicious to those who drink, and rivers of clarified honey, clear and pure. There for them is every kind of fruit, and forgiveness from their Lord. Are these like those who shall dwell for ever in the fire, and be given to drink boiling water, so that it cuts up their bowels? And among them are some who listen to you, O Muhammad, till, when they go out from you, they say to those who have received knowledge, What has he just said now? Such are men whose hearts Allah has sealed, and they follow their lusts and evil desires. While as for those who accept guidance, he increases their guidance, and bestows on them piety. Do they then await anything other than that the hour should come upon them suddenly? But some of its signs have already come, and when it actually is on them, how can they benefit then by their reminder? So know, O Muhammad, that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and ask forgiveness for your sin, and also for the sins of believing men and believing women. And Allah knows well your movements and your places of rest in your homes. Those who disbelieve say, why is a chapter of the Qur'an not sent down for us? But when a decisive chapter, explaining and ordering things, is sent down, and waging war in Allah's cause is mentioned and ordained in it, you will see those in whose heart is a disease of hypocrisy, looking at you with a look of one about to die. But it would have been better for the hypocrites to listen to Allah and to obey Him. Obedience to Allah and good words were better for them. And when the matter of mobilizing for war was resolved, if they had been true to Allah, it would have been better for them. Would you then, if you were given the authority, do mischief in the land, and sever your ties of kinship? Such are they whom Allah has cursed, so that He has made them deaf, and blinded their sight. Do they not think deeply about the Quran, or are their hearts sealed from understanding it? Surely, those who have turned back have slid back into disbelief, after the guidance have been made manifest to them. Satan has beautified for them their false hopes, and Allah has prolonged their terms. This is because they said to those who hate what Allah has sent down, We will obey you in part of the matter, 
but Allah knows their secrets. Then how will it be when the angels take their souls at their deaths, striking at their faces and their backs? This is because they followed that which angered Allah, and hated that which pleased Him, so He made their deeds fruitless. Or do those in whose hearts is a disease of hypocrisy think that Allah will not bring to light all their hidden ill thoughts? Had we willed, we could have shown them to you, and you should have known them by their marks, but surely you will know them by the tone of their speech, and Allah knows all your deeds. And surely we shall try you till we test those who strive hard for the cause of Allah and the patient ones, and we shall test your facts and expose the liar from the one who is truthful. Surely those who disbelieve and hinder men from the path of Allah and oppose the messenger after the guidance has been clearly shown to them, they will not hurt Allah in the least, but he will make their deeds fruitless. O you who believe! Obey Allah, and obey the Messenger Muhammad, and do not render your deeds vain. Surely, those who disbelieve and hinder men from the path of Allah, and then die as disbelievers, Allah will not forgive them. So do not be weak, and do not ask for peace from the enemies of Islam, while you have the upper hand. Allah is with you, and will never decrease the reward of your good deeds. The life of this world is but play and pastime. But if you believe in the oneness of Allah, and fear Allah, and avoid evil, He will grant you a reward, and will not ask you for your wealth. If He were to ask you for it, and press you, you would covetously withhold it, and He will bring out all your secret ill thoughts. Behold, you are those who are called to spend in the cause of Allah, yet amongst you are some who are miserly. And whoever is miserly, it is only at the expense of himself. But Allah is rich, free of all wants, and you, mankind, are poor. And if you turn away, He will exchange you for another people, and they will not be like you.